get it one be agent down here today you look at this dell optiflex 7080 microcomputer and what it is is a very small form factor desktop computer it's about the size of my hand as you can see so it's got a very small footprint here and it weighs not that heavy neither as well too so it's pretty good to travel around with i know some people do travel on these things uh, if they need to and pretty much there are a range of different monitor mounts for these computers here as well as under the desk brackets for these micro computers so they're definitely great to hide these nice computers around especially in businesses where you can actually hide them behind money even monitors and then the IT department can probably just hot swap these things around rather than having to carry a big computer with them or even monitor and stuff like that so these are great in that sort of situation here there so we'll have a look at the internals of this computer here more of closer to the later part of year so stick around for that and also do the temperature and noise check of this computer here as well so first off Let's go through what it, this computer can be configured with. Now, with the process wise, it is using the 10th generation Intel Core. Now, you can get anywhere from between an i3 all the way up to the i9. So you can get T-series processor for these computers here. And it pretty much T-series means basically just low power. And a lot of the times these computer workstations just doing office productivity work, which they don't really need that much power, amount of power there. So these are great for that side of things there. So as for RAM wise, these can be configured up to a maximum of 64 gigs. Yep, 64 gigs. That's pretty good for these things here. As for storage wise, you can put in two M.2 SSD hard drives in there as well as one two and a half inch hard drive there so you can actually put a little bit of storage in this little small computer here it's actually quite good as for graphics wise it does use the Intel integrated graphics but you can actually configure it with a discrete graphics there which is the AMD Radon MX620 Let's have a look at the ports and buttons on the computer. So first off, we start at the front. So starting on the left here, we've got the power button. We then have an LED light for the hard drive activity light. And then we have the audio combo jack. We have a line out port here. Now this port here can be also retasked to be line in. So that's done by software there. And then this, we have the USB-C port. Now this is the USB 3.1 Gen 2 port there. And they've got USB 3.1 Gen one port that's USB A, of course, and also does power share as well. Looking at the back of the computer, starting on the left hand side again, so we've got the port to plug in the power. We've got two full size display ports up here. Here, we've actually got a hole to put the padlock on, and this little thing sticking out is actually a cable holder. Then we got the Kensington lock slot here, and then we've got four USBs. Now, these ones I do have to explain. So, the top two. Uh, USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. This one on the right here has smart power on. So it will actually be able to turn the computer on. Now the bottom two USBs are 3.1 Gen 2 ports. And then we have a HDMI port here and then we've got an Ethernet RJ45. And then we also have the antenna here as well for the Wi-Fi. The computer does come with integrated speakers and when I measured the maximum volume of the speakers it managed to peak at 79.3 decibels and as for sound quality they're pretty average I probably would recommend that you actually connect external speakers or headphones to the computer when you really are working with sound but at least the computer does is able to produce sound if you don't have those external devices there as for power wires, if you've got a T-series processor configured with the micro, then it will come with a 90 watt power supply. Now, if you've actually got the normal version of the processor, which is the 65 watt version, then you will actually have a 130 watt power adapter there. Now, if you also get the discrete graphics configured with the 7080 micro, then you will get a 180 watt power supply on that one there, just to actually run the graphics there. So the weight of the 7080 micro is 1.16 kilos and I'll add in the 90 watt power duct that it comes with is 1.60 kilos. As for temperature and noise of this computer here, when I did the stress test of the computer, I found most of the actual heat is actually located on the bottom left corner of the computer here. Now if you get this computer horizontal then it's actually located on the back end on the underneath on the left hand side pretty much where the power port is located there and that's not surprising because that's where the processor actually sits there. So first off my ambient temperature when I took the readings was at 17 degrees Celsius. We're in winter here in Australia so if you actually 
in a more warmer climate, I expect these numbers to go up. So first off, I did actually take off a measurement of the computer when it was on idle, and at the hottest area, it was measuring at 28 degrees Celsius, and as for the fan noise, you're looking at 32 decibels, so it's pretty much practically quiet there. I then ran the computer at 20% load, so it's pretty much what you'll be doing for tasks like office productivity work, streaming the web, browsing the web, that sort of thing. The hottest area read at 32 degrees Celsius, and the fan noise was 32 decibels still. Now then I ran the computer at 50% load, and the hottest area was measuring at 41 degrees Celsius. As for noise level, it actually mostly set at 32 degrees, but every so often it'll ramp up the fan a little and it'll, you'll actually hear it at 34 decibels. I also ran the computer at 100% load and the hottest area measured at 44 degrees Celsius. As for noise level, it mostly stayed at 35 decibels, but it would ever so often ramp up its fan up and you'll actually hear for a few seconds, it will go up to about 40 decibels. Let's have a look at the internals of the Dell Optiplex 7080 Micro. So first of all, you just need to do undo the thumb screw at the back here. I'll just pre undo it to speed things up. And pretty much with the top cover, you just need to push it forward and then you actually lift it up and then that's the top cover taken away there, which is great. Now, first off, you can pretty much see is the actual two and a half inch bay hard drive caddy that you can actually put in. Pretty much, you can just push it forward and then just lift it up, and then you can actually put it in. Now, the headers for the SATA is actually sitting right here. There, and then you can actually see there is currently one SSD hard drive in there, which is M.2 format, and there is another one here for another slot there if you want to as well. And we can see here, which is the Bluetooth and Wi Fi card, we're sitting there. And then the RAM is actually sitting underneath the fan. Now, how to actually get to the RAM, you pretty much just push these two levers in and then just lift the fan itself up. And then this is the power cable to actually for the fan anyway. I don't think you need to disconnect it, where you just need to change the RAM. And you can see there's two slots of RAM there, so two solid dim slots for the RAM. I've got 16 gigs in this one here configured. You can go up to 64 gigs if you need to. At the moment I've got 16 gigs on here, and this is the heatsink for the processor there. I did perform the benchmarks for the 7080 Micro, and the one I got here is an i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and a class 40 SSD hard drive. So here is the pass mark, Citibench R15 and R20, PC mark 10, 3D mark and spec view pref. This small form factor is absolutely brilliant for a lot of businesses. Now, if you find this video informative or enjoyed it, give a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe by my channel by hitting the subscribe button on the bottom right of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every week. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.